for the Willamette River say they've identified a significant source of recent blue-green algae outbreaks in the water. And they say a lot of it comes from the lagoon on Ross Island. As Cora Harlan shows us, they have an idea of what might fix a potentially big problem in the water. This is the lagoon in the middle of Ross Island, the source of what some say is a blue-green algae outbreak. It's toxic to animals, makes people sick, and makes the Willamette River essentially unswimmable when it's here. Some of the blue-green algae first detected by the Oregon Health Authority here on the Ross Island Lagoon August the 3rd is still visible on the surface of the water. The warm, still, nutrient-rich water here provide perfect conditions for the growth of algae. It's a contributor to recent Willamette River water health advisories that extended on the Willamette from here at the lagoon downstream to St. John's. Ross Island um, Lagoon there's basically a pond inside of our river. It is a pond that has expanded as Ross Island sand and gravel nearby has extracted aggregates for concrete making. The company does have an ongoing reclamation program to manage the lagoon created during 75 years of in-water mining that ended in 2001. River advocates say a possible solution might be to bore new river passageways on each end of the lagoon, allowing fresh river water in here to more thoroughly mix up the water. Bringing in a little bit of circulation to the channel would very likely be enough to break up the algae bloom. It also help decrease the water temperature because fish need cool water. I did reach out to Ross Island Sand and Gravel's president for his perspective. The company also helped craft a news release identifying this issue by saying it is willing to discuss the matter further in the interest of exploring potential solutions. The company also points out that blooms occur in other sheltered areas of the river as well. They say its land-based aggregate processing facility on the island has nothing to do with waterborne growth of algae. With lower snowpacks and higher temperatures and long-term climate forecasts, finding a solution here is a must for river advocates who fear more frequent algae blooms will spoil the water they love so much. On Ross Island, Cor Harlan, Point Six News.